Hello friends, myself Pankaj Sethi. I am from Networkers Home Technical Team. Today we are going to discuss about configuration and this is a scenario based configuration. Okay. In this we are having two switches and on these switches on one side we are having VLAN 10 and on the other side we are having VLAN 20. So we want to see that how we can able to communicate between these two. How are, what are the methods by which we can communicate. So let us see this. Okay. So here you can see we are having VLAN 10 on this side and VLAN 20 on this side. Okay. So PC1 is having an IP address that is 10.1.1 and on PC2 we are having an IP address 20.1.1.1. So first method is by making a trunk in between. Okay. How we can do it? We can use SVI between switch 1 and switch 2. Okay. So First on PC1, I'll give an IP. IP is 10.1.1.1 slash 24. There's an IP address. Okay. On switch 2, I'll give an IP that is 20.1.1.1 slash 24. Okay. On switch 1. Okay. This interface gig 0 by 1 must be in VLAN 10. So interface gig 0 by and switch port access VLAN 10 okay. and on switch 2 we create interface gig 0 by 1 switch port access VLAN 20 Clear. So on switch one we have created. On switch two we have created. Now what we have to do uh, on switch one interface gig zero by zero. What we have to do we have to make a trunk in between these two. So interface gig zero by zero, and the command is switch port trunk. First I have to give encapsulation because it is layer three. So we have to give encapsulation. Switch port trunk encapsulation and encapsulation is dot one q and switch port mode is trunk okay clear next we have to go on to the switch 2 okay now if we see here it will be trunk will be created show interfaces trunk we can use this command and we'll see that the trunk is being created okay but on pc1 if i want to ping 20.1.1.1 I am I cannot able to ping first I have not given the gateway okay. so first I have to give the gateway on PC the gateway is IP 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and the gateway is 10.1.1.10 Similarly, on PC2, I have to give the gateway. The IP is 20.1.1.1 slash 24 and the gateway is 20.1.1.10. Okay. Now, on switch 1, I have to give the SVI. SVI is like, we can give the SVI. SVI is like on interface, we can, on interface VLAN, we can give the IP. So, first is interface VLAN 10 on switch 1 and I have to give the IP address that is 10.1.1.1 and 255.255.255. So here we have to give 10.1.1.10 IP address. Okay. And use the command no shut exit. Okay. And on switch 2 we have to use quantity interface VLAN 20 IP address is 20.1.1.10.255.255.255.0 okay and no shit still we cannot able to ping 20.1.1.1 why 
we cannot able to ping you can see there is an error here okay so what we have to do we have to make a dummy vlan here we can we have to use a dummy vlan dummy vlan is like any vlan which we are not using on both the switches like on switch 1 we are using only vlan 10 and switch 2 we are using only vlan 20 so here we are using let's suppose we'll use a dummy vlan like vlan 30 vlan 30 we are going to use okay and vlan 30 we are going to use on switch 1 as well as on switch 2 okay and both the ips will be there and the ips we can use here is so here you can see the ip is on switch 1 i have to use VLAN 30 and exit and then interface VLAN 30 uh, IP address is 30.1.1.1255 255 255.255.0 and no shut okay similarly on switch 2 I have to give a VLAN 30 exit VLAN 30 and exit interface vlan 30 ip address is 30.1.1.2 255 255 and no shit okay now on switch 1 and switch 2 i have to give the what i have to give on switch 1 and switch 2 i have to give the routing okay so which routing protocol we can use we can use igb routing protocol any routing protocol we can use so here we are using EIGRP like router EIGRP 100 and network is network is like 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and that is it okay. similarly on switch 2 we can use conti router EIGRP and network is 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 okay any network any subnet mask so neighbor is up so now from p1 and p2 we can able to communicate okay yes we can able to communicate so first method is by using the trunk port and by using a dummy vlan Second method is by making this interfaces as a layer 3 interfaces like gig 0 by 0 and 0 by 0 both of the sites we can make these interfaces as layer 3 interfaces okay how we can do it you can see here first on switch 1 first on switch 1 what I do I'll remove the VLAN 30 so the command is no VLAN 30 okay and here on switch 2 i can use the command no vlan 30 here also okay and on interface gig 0 by 0 and first switch port switch port mode access on this kick 0 by 0 and on interface kick 0 by 0 switch port port access I can use clear so now on this interface I have to use the command no switch port also no switch port so it will make it as layer 3 now I can give any IP address here like IP addresses so we'll use 12.1.1 network 255 255 255.0 no shut and on switch 2 I can use IP addresses 12.1.1.2 255.255.255.0 and no shut okay neighborship come up how the neighborship come up you can see here 
द नेबरशिप बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ दैम विल कम अप सो अगेन वी कैन एबल टू पिंक फ्रॉम टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन टू ट्वेंटी डॉट वन डॉट वन सो द कमांड इज पिंक ट्वेंटी डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन वी कैन एबल टू पिंक ऑन स्विच वन इफ वी सी इफ वी यूज द कमांड शो आई पी राउट so what is the show ip route command here, here you can see we are having 10 network 12 network 20 and 30 all the networks are available so 30 we can remove okay that is not required no interface we will have 30 okay. so 10 12 and 20 is there what is the 10 network here you can see this is the 10 network this is the 20 network and this is the Well, network clear. So by this, there are two methods we can communicate. First is uh, by using a trunk port. Second is by using IP address in between by using layer three uh, interfaces in between. Okay. And what is uh, there is one uh, frugal method that we can say. So here you can see there is one more method. what is that method that method is like so here so here what we can use here is like So first is this is PC one and this is PC two. This is VLAN ten. This is VLAN twenty. First method is by using trunk port. Second method is by using layer three interfaces. Okay. And third method is this one. This is a frugal method. Means how we can use it. Like this is VLAN ten. So. we can so there on this switch we are having multiple interfaces so we are using two interfaces here and we can use two interfaces here one interface must be in vlan 10 and one interface must be in vlan 1 and we have to connect it via cable similarly one interface is in here it is in VLAN 20 and one interface is in VLAN 1 and we can connect it via a cable. Okay, so these interfaces are connected via cable in these switches. Now, when PC1 will ping from here, okay, this interface is in VLAN 10, so the data will go to the VLAN 10 and the switch one will think that the data is of VLAN 10 and it will send the data via this VLAN 10. Okay, and it will goes to this interface. In this interface, this interface is the part of VLAN one. Okay, so the data will go from VLAN ten and comes to the VLAN one, and switch will think that the data is of VLAN one. These interfaces we have not changed it. These interfaces are access interfaces, and all the interfaces of the switch one are switches are by default in the VLAN one. So this interface is in VLAN one. This interface is in VLAN one. so the data first will go from this interface and will go into the vlan 10 and from this interface it will go come out and go here and goes into the vlan 10 here it will go again and it will goes to this is also the part of vlan 1 by default vlan and this is the part of vlan 1 it goes out from here and goes into the vlan 20 and goes to the PC twenty clear. So this way we can communicate from PC one to PC two clear. So there are three methods by which we can communicate. But in all the methods means means in these two method in trunk and layer three interfaces method, what we have to do we have to use any routing protocol. We have to use routing in between.
so this is an interview question sometimes these questions can be asked in the interview okay so hope this is uh, this video is informative for you thank you for watching